Hi guys, hello another video for you all. Something a little bit different today with my Quest 2 headset, and that's Media Center software for me to play back movies, TV shows, listen to music, stuff like that. I like to get the most bang for the buck out of the stuff I buy. So I'll do a showcase of Kodi today, what I've done with it. I'm gonna go into apps. Now in order for me to find it, I need to go into unknown sources. And the reason for that is to install it, I had to get the APK file, so I go to the Kodi website, download the Android version. I've got that APK file and use SideQuest to install it. Now many of you should be familiar with SideQuest because you want to install other bits and pieces onto your Quest headset, whether it's Duck Hunt, the classic NES game done in VR. I've got Half-Life 1 there, all of these VR ports, Doom 3, the original Doom, and that can do like Hexen and Heretic as well. Uh, we've got Return to Castle Wolfenstein. So plenty of information out there about using SideQuest, and this is how I'm going to open up Kodi. So I'll let you see it do a cold boot. So really, really snappy, loaded really, really quickly. Uh, you might not have seen it, but that was version 19.3 with Kodi Matrix. Now, some of you might be saying, Hono, why are you bothering when there's big screen? You can use that app to watch your content. Well, that's true, but I can't do everything that I want to do with it. And the perfect example, actually, is the television, because it doesn't work with big screen. So I've got the guide there. Now the way I'm doing this is I've got a HD Home Run TV tuner. The TV aerial plugs into that HD Home Run. The HD Home Run connects to my router with an Ethernet cable and then anything on my home network gets access to these TV channels, which is pretty awesome. So we see that I've got quite a nice TV guide, which is better than what the HD Home Run app offers. I can use my touch controllers to navigate around. We can do B to go back and just click on TV with a more basic TV guide so I can see what's on. So we've got the Simpsons movie on E4. So even as standard definition channels, they do play quite well. Looks pretty good in the headset. Let's see, we had the Abyss on Film 4, called Classic Film. Yeah, so you won't hear anything because hopefully I've uh, turned that off. So that's my TV channels. Really happy I've got access to those. I've also got a USB hard drive plugged into my router so I can share movies around the home. So we've got the 13th Warrior there. Play that from the beginning. So quite an old movie, Antonio Banderas, back in the day when he was a badass. Let me skip ahead. Quite a cool film about Vikings. Stop that. We go through all of my films. I've got quite a few on here. Some cartoons as well and Disney stuff. Judge Dredd. So yeah, that's the movies. We've got the TV shows as well. So in here I've also got like classic cartoons, which I love to have for nostalgia, but also because my friends have kids, they want to see this stuff. They've never seen it before. It's all new to them. It's quite exciting and it's a nostalgia trip for the parents. So not only do I have Dungeons and Dragons, got some other old school stuff. Uh, what have we got? Gummy Bears, He-Man, which of course has been rebooted on Netflix, but this is the OG original He-Man from back in the day. Legend of Zelda there, Mask. Also got more modern stuff like Mandalorian, Orville, Thundercats, The Witcher. I've got a new season of that coming soon as well. So there's more stuff I can transfer over to the hard drive, but there's a reasonable amount on there to watch, which is pretty cool. So we'll get onto the add-on section. So some people will be familiar with Kodi because of builds and wizards. Uh, so yeah, kind of a gray area, but largely it's illegal to watch movies through these third party add-ons. So I'm not gonna talk about those. What I will mention is I installed the Netflix add-on for Kodi, which kind of works. I can log into my account, see the stuff that's there, but when I try to play it, I get audio, but no video. So I message the developer on GitHub to see if I'm doing something stupid or if it just doesn't work with Quest, we'll see what happens. So a bit of a bummer, but at the end of the day, the Quest does have its own app for Netflix. Disney Plus does not have an app for the Quest. 
I can't test Disney Plus because I haven't got the subscription. I'll renew it when we've got the Book of Boba Fett that comes out. This is sort of end of December. That goes hand in hand with The Mandalorian. So I can try that out. If it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world because we can just go into apps. If we go into all, we've got the browser. So I can log into Disney Plus and yeah, my American cousins, whatever you watch. If you haven't got access to an app, you can do it through the browser which is pretty cool so now you know what we can do if you want me to do a tutorial on it i can do um but i think most of you should be aware be able to figure it out yourselves plenty of information out there about setting up cody and using sidequest so we'll leave it there guys have a great day have a great evening whatever you choose to do after watching this and i'll see you i'll see you next ciao for now